All right, hello tubers, this is Scrooge. Um, so if you haven't checked out the other video, go check out the TV video we did today. And uh, we got some stuff to feed the stock pot this evening, which is nice. So we're gonna start with these, and these are the ribbon cable ends. You all see them, some of them have gold, some of them don't, you just gotta look at them and see. And then you trim them as close as you can to the end of the ribbon there without losing any gold. And then, uh, then you go put them in your stock pot over there. They're perfect for it because there's not a lot of copper. You're not going to waste a lot of acid on that copper. Um, they're pretty easy to get out. They don't fall apart or disintegrate. And they're actually really, really good for that. And uh, so we got our finger strip boards. So I went through here and made sure there wasn't like, I'm not going to, I'm not really going to put that guy in there. I think we already put one in there, but I don't think I'm going to put him in there. I want to, I want to uh, minimize the amount of stuff that I get in there. At least today. It may change tomorrow. I don't know. But uh, right now, we're, we're going to keep him off to the side. And we'll put him in my bucket. Um, anyways, so yeah, we're missing like some spots. Don't have any gold on them on those finger strip boards. Just don't have any anywhere. So there's some copper and stuff underneath that coating. But why run it through? I guess if I take a minute and I cut some of it off. You know, this doesn't have any on the stripping. But it does have the flashing. So I got that. Um, taken care of but so why not you know reduce the amount the acids have to work so those guys are gonna go into that stock pot over there uh, let me back you guys on out a little bit there we go all right again just remember safety first and uh, yeah I know everybody says well why are you putting your hands over okay I'm not I'm not I just remove the lid gently and safely let it hang out there and it does. And it'll just hang there and it'll kind of go, but it ain't gonna go nowhere. It ain't gonna do nothing. And then I just dump them in. Now people are like, oh, well you're dumping it in the hot acid. No, there's no heat. There's no heat happening on that whatsoever. It's just sitting there bubbling and doing its thing. And no, if I had ceramics, no, I would not be dropping them in like that. I don't know, you mechanics, you've seen what happens when you take a spark plug and you throw it into a piece of glass. Maybe, maybe you haven't, maybe you don't need to know that. But with that being said, if you do that, it's gonna shatter the glass. So ceramics and IC chips and such things like that, I do not drop into glass. And I highly suggest you do the same. Um, because if you do, you're going to be a poor fella and you're going to be standing there and all your gold is going to just be starting to run right out. And if you don't have a catch pan, you're really going to regret it. So, um, yeah, do pay attention to what you're chucking in your stock pot. Don't be silly about it. Don't be chucking stuff that's got a bunch of aluminum in there and things like that. You know, I go over it all the time, but, uh... Yeah, so that's the stock pot for the day. It uh, We put a little more uh, HCL in there last time. I think our last update, it was brown. Put a little more HCL in there, just a tad, just a smidge. And uh, it pulled it back to green and the copper started coming back out into solution and it's working great. So that's good. And we're getting there. We're, we're Right now, I think we're at about like 85, 86 subs. So we are getting there, guys. And I know you hate when I say hit that like, share, and subscribe button. But you know how this works. And we're going to empty that out at 100 subs. So I hope to see you there. And as always, I love you. Go wash your face.